Hey everybody and welcome to today's video. Today's dining destination brings us to the Chop House. Here's the menu at Chop House. There's a wide variety of different appetizers. And we have chosen to go with the sweet corn tamale cakes, which includes avocado, pico de gallo, chipotle ranch, and cilantro. And they do have house-made dressings over here. There's a wide variety to choose from, including balsamic, raspberry, and champagne vinaigrettes. Look at all those sides. There are so many sides to choose from. They do serve bread with honey butter here, and you do get a salad with most entrees, so I don't know if I'm gonna add on the side like I usually do, but there are a lot to choose from here. There are also a lot of steak add-ons, as you'll see over here to the left. Uh, burgundy mushrooms. You can also add cold water lobster tail or skewer grilled shrimp, soups and salads gonna go on the lighter side there sandwiches here are the chicken selections down here are the steaks and chops I'm gonna get a sirloin today I don't know if I'm gonna go with the 7 ounce or the 10 ounce but for sure getting a sirloin here are the pork options and down here are the seafood options so if you get steaks and chops it does include soup or salad as well as a baked potato, or you can sub out from one of the sides that I just mentioned. A chopped salad is plus an additional dollar, but if it's not already listed and you get one of these other entrees here, it does not include a salad. But if you'd like to add soup, house salad, or Caesar salad to any entrees, it's $5, and a chopped salad to any entree is six. And they do have a wide variety of craft cocktails as well as wine, and so I'm gonna scan over that if you'd like to take a look. And here are those sweet tamale cakes. We can't wait to dive into these. They look so colorful and so good. And Jennifer is trying the tamale cake. It is so good. We've had these before, and this is like one of our favorite appetizers here. So we like to get it pretty much every time. Um, the avocado is like perfectly ripe, and it's got a really, really good, um, just enough spice, kind of like a sour cream sauce. And the pico is fresh, and then you've got like the sweet corn tamale cake, so good. Okay, so if you take a close look here, you can see the chunks of corn, the pico de gallo, you see the cilantro. I'm gonna make sure that I also get a little bit of that avocado in there. Here we go, first bite. I think it's a good combination of sweet, a little bit of spice, not a whole lot, but there's a lot of flavors going on with this dish and, and it's really, really good. I highly recommend this as an appetizer here. It is just so good. Jennifer's gonna tell us about the bread and the honey butter that they serve here at Chop House. So this bread is definitely homemade. It's got um, a really good bite to it. It's really good and crunchy on the outside and you've got the perfectly soft inside. And then the honey butter just perfectly complements the whole wheat and everything. And it's just enough sweet, not too much, but it's perfect. So Henry's getting ready to eat an entire tamale cake. All right, so the tamale cake is now cut in half. Didn't quite work with the whole tamale cake, so we're gonna see how this works here. Henry has a tamale cake. Good. Take that knot as it must be great. 
So I know this isn't like a major deal, but I do want to point this out because it, it, was, it came to my attention and I really enjoyed it. That a lot of steakhouses, when you get their bread and butter, you kind of have to just saw on the bread. You end up taking your other hand and smashing the bread down. Look at this. They have pre-cut the grooves right here to make it nice and easy. Taking a look at the salad, guys. Look at this. Instead of croutons, there's chow mein noodles, which is a really cool touch. The plate is freezing cold, which I love. The ingredients are fresh, and I'm really excited about the chow mein noodles. All right, Gentry, tell us what you got there. A cheese pizza. Cheese pizza. And look at that, guys. On the kids' menu, pork chop with mashed potatoes for Henry. Tell us what you got there. I got the petite pork chop, and it comes with cream spinach and the cinnamon apples, and it comes with mashed potatoes, but I decided to sub out a jumbo sweet potato instead. And I decided to get the seven ounce for one just because it did come with a salad, it comes with a loaded baked potato, we had appetizers, and of course we had the really good bread here. You can already see that garlic butter on the outside, and it looks good. And I want to point out that the Chop House uses Midwestern beef that is USDA prime and choice cut. Chop House cooks and finishes it in a unique Montague oven and sears it in the meat. So it has its natural flavors and juices. That's what sets this apart. Did you tell us how the pizza's taste? He's All right. Jennifer's getting ready to take her first bite of pork chops. Wow, that is melt in your mouth. And that butter, whatever's in it, that's melted on top, it's amazing. It is just the right flavor, and the pork chops are seasoned really well. But yeah, definitely recommend. So this Parmesan cream spinach, this is my favorite side to get here. It's so good. It's uh, really similar to like a spinach dip, but it's so, so good. I mean, I could probably eat this for both of my sides, but I did opt for this sweet potato too. Henry's got the idea right there. He's taking his pork chop and dipping it in his mashed potatoes. I've got to point out that the baked potato was cooked very well too. It's piping hot and I just can't say enough about how much of a great job they did loading this loaded baked potato up with ingredients because you don't always get that at restaurants. So as you can see, this uh, sweet potato is still steaming piping hot and it has cinnamon butter with it. So I'm about to take my first bite. It's very good. It's so tender, and that cinnamon butter is really good. I don't like um, super, super sweet sweet potatoes. I like them just where you can taste the sweet potato itself, and this is really good. First bite of the sirloin here without any butter, uh, just with it being cooked in that Montague oven. Here it is. You can taste the, the sear and the crispiness on the outside. It's very tender on the inside, and it is a delicious steak. Now, I took this piece of steak and put it with that garlic butter and kind of sopped some of that garlic butter on there. So I'm going to taste it with the garlic butter now. I want to say that sometimes when you get a loaded baked potato, they skimp on loading it up, but they definitely loaded this up well. Lots of butter, lots of sour cream, lots of bacon. Here are the green onions, lots of cheese. That is a well-loaded loaded baked potato. So my meal, the petite pork chops, it comes with a garnish, ramekin of cinnamon apples, and it's really good. It really complements the pork chops, or it's just really good on its own either way. But yeah, very good. Well, everybody, that was the Chop House. Gentry, what did you think about the Chop House today? The cheese was really good, and pizza just complements it really and you must good. And you must have been a fan of the bread and butter because you had like three pieces, right? How yeah. was that? Really good. All right. And Henry, how was your meal, buddy? I want the chicken and the mashed potatoes, too. The mashed potatoes? Um, and the pork chop. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the pork chop was really good. It was good. <laughs> Jennifer, what, was your th what were your thoughts on the chop house? Everything was spectacular it was so so good um couldn't eat everything so we did get a to-go box um but yeah it was amazing
All right, and I have to say that back in 2016, Mountain Press ranked the Chop House as the number one steakhouse in the Smoky Mountains. In a recent video, I said that this place has my favorite steak. I still stand by that. It is an absolute delicious steak. Melts in your mouth. The garlic butter is great. It doesn't need the garlic butter. That Montague oven where the steak marinates in its own juices is far enough for me, but the garlic butter just really adds to it. The baked potato, it was, it was loaded. As I mentioned earlier, sometimes you get a load of baked potato and there's not a whole lot of loading that has been done in that baked potato. It's a baked potato with a, a little bit of cheese sprinkled on top and that's about it. This was a good load of baked potato. The uh, tamales were good, the bread and butter. The butter is so unique. It's a honey butter. It is so, so delicious. Guys, we really, really recommend the Chop House if you're looking for a good steak in the Great Smoky Mountains area. And guys, we thank you so much for joining us today, and we look forward to seeing you on the next episode of Everyday is Saturday.